Hello everyone, my name is Chandan and I welcome you again to my channel. This is going to be the 16th video in test ng tutorial series and what we are going to see today is how do we achieve parallel testing using test ng. So let's quickly start. Uh, I have my Eclipse opened and if you see here, this is the same project that I have been using from the last three to four um, tutorial. And uh, uh, what I have created is uh, for this video, I have created parallel uh, package. And within this, I have one class parallel class 01. All right. And uh, here, if you see here, we have three annotated test annotated methods test 01, 02, 03, and they all are printing some statement, right? Uh, it is printing I am in the name of the test and then underscore class 01. So let me just quickly run this and see if we have any error. Okay, if you see here, uh, we have three method, three tests passed and they are printing the test and they are printing the statement, all right, successfully. Now, we know that test ng executes them in alphabetical order, one after the other. Right? They run in, it, it executes the test in sequential manner. Okay. But we want to execute them in parallel. Right. So uh, let's see how do we do that. Okay. In order to understand the concept of parallel testing, we need to understand the concept of thread. Okay. This is a term which we use in Java. Uh, you must have learned multi threading concept in Java, and that is where you have heard the term thread. Okay, so let's see what it is. Uh, let me just read the definition for you. A thread is an independent path. It's very important, independent path of execution within a program, right? So when, when we have a program, we have set of instructions to be executed, right? And these instructions are executed over a path. And that path is nothing called, nothing, nothing but a thread, okay? So when we executed these three tests, they were executed they were executed over a thread okay so let's see what was the thread that the system provided to these threads okay and please know that uh, since the they were executed sequentially one after the other that means they used only one thread to execute so let's check that okay so in order to know what which thread it you they used let me just uh, print this statement thread dot current thread dot get sorry i d right so uh, this is a thread class within which this is the method which is you know again this is the another method get id and this get id this I, get id will give me the id of the thread that this particular test is using similarly let's see what is the thread that the second test method would use and similarly the third one okay now in order to let me just uh, format it a bit id okay. uh, copy and uh, paste it paste it all right so we are sorted so uh, let me just quickly run this let's test ng test and see what happens now if you see here it is it, is, it has printed the same statement that we saw, but this time it is printing the ID that is one, one, one. So that means it is using the thread which has the ID one. By the way, this number are, this number is given by the system automatically, okay? So it may be two when you try try this statement and on your system, it may be two, it can be 15, it can be 16, it can be any arbitrary number. The system will provide automatically, all right? So we saw that these three tests are using a same thread one okay but in order to achieve parallel testing right we need to execute them simultaneously and not sequentially we know that if we execute them sequentially they are going to use one thread but in order to execute them in parallel we need to utilize multiple threads that is when these test these tests will be executed parallelly okay so each test will have a separate thread and they will be free to use that that thread to execute the test okay so let me just uh, okay let's see how do we achieve parallel testing 
using test ng all right so right click on this let me just create our test ng xml file okay so if you see here uh, we have a parallel mode here now what mode do you want to execute i will explain this uh, later but let me just uh, finish this i'll come to this point later so let me just open the test ng file it has created for me so if you see here uh, let me just get rid of this okay and instead of test let me put it on suit level and make it sorry this is the keyword which we have to add equals to methods all right so there is no error and we are all good now if you see here uh we have added two different uh, attributes here parameters thread count and parallel right the thread counts tells you the number of thread that you want to use to execute the class execute the methods that we have in the class okay so we are saying that we need five threads as of now it says five okay we can change it to whatever number you want okay so when we say five threads that will be created to execute all the methods okay remember this to execute all the methods that we have within this class okay and um, let me reiterate we we are creating five threads to execute all the methods that we have within this class okay so um, let me just run it now run this test run as test ng suite okay now if you see here we had three methods one two three okay and the thread that we it used they used were three threads 14 13 and 15 these are the ids now remember uh, we had only one id earlier right but now since we are running them in parallel they are uh, they have they have been granted three threads right because we have only three methods uh, so it, they are using one thread for each of the methods each of the execution so test one is executing exe uh, test one is using thread number 13 test two is using thread number 14 and test three is using thread number 15 and they have not used the extra two thread that we created if you remember we have created three threads right so two are still free okay we did not use them so you can set it to three you can set it to two it can be less than the number of test methods that you have okay so say for example we have three test methods and we are creating only two threads okay so let's see what happens now right click run as test ng suite okay now if you see it has created 13 and 14 okay test one was executed on thread number 13 test two was executed on thread number 14 Test 3 was executed on 13 again. Why? Why did we use 13? Because the reason is we only have two thread. We don't have extra thread for the third test. And that's the reason why whichever thread got free first will be used by the next test. So that's why test 1 was executed before uh, thread 14 was free. Okay. So that's why the thread that test one would released was used by thread is uh, test zero three okay so i hope that is clear okay so we saw that we can have you know uh, different values for the thread count that we have okay you can have any values here and now as i told you that here we have specified i mean you know we, we specified methods here so I told you that this threads will be used for all the methods that we have within this class. Okay. And we can have classes as well here. So what would this mean? This means that the thread that we create will be used as across the classes. That means each class will be given one thread. The way we saw the here that each of the methods that we had okay they were assigned the thread each of the method will be assigned one thread but since we assigned two thread for three methods so once the other once the method were once one of the thread was free the other test was pushed on to the 
free method i'm sorry free uh, thread so similarly if we have multiple classes in that case the thread will be given to each of the class that we have let's see how okay now uh, since we have two threads and we have just one class okay so by default it will take uh, okay let me just show you that as well so same case we have this time we have more more number of thread than the number of classes so as i told you that each of the class will get one thread so right click since we have one class so only one thread will be given to the methods that we have in this particular class so if we see here when we are, when we put classes here so it took only one thread for all the methods that we have for that particular class so this this is going to be one on one okay so let me just copy this uh, let me just create another class okay let's create a replica of this class one paste it here okay everything same so let me just change it to class two okay control s now let me run this so we have two classes now and two threads so we are creating two threads okay we are we are giving uh, you know each thread to one of the to each of the classes that we have okay so one thread will be given to this the other thread will be given to this class okay right click on it run as test ng suite okay now if you see here we have thread 13 and 14 right so class 1 class 1 class 1 it has 13 13 13 and class 2 was given thread number 14 so all the methods that we have in class 1 were executed on thread number 13 okay and all the methods that we have in class number 2 these three methods they all used the method i'm sorry the thread number 14 okay so two threads two classes one thread was given to each of the class okay so i hope that's clear and we can even uh, you know change it to test all right so let me just do this since this is on test level that means you know uh, each of this test will be given one thread so we have two test two thread created so one thread will be given to one thread and if we have two threads two tests sorry i'm so sorry if we have two tests then each of them will be granted one thread so let me just create since we have this is on test level so let me just make it two test okay and name is as zero one and zero two okay now within this let me just remove this class let's keep one class so if you have kept one zero one here let me keep keep zero two here okay so now we have two test okay and we have set the parallel to test that means the threads will be given to uh, the threads will be divided across different test so let me just right click on it run as test ng suite again let's see what happens all right so if you see here again two threads were created okay and class one class one was given one thread class one was given one thread and class two was given the other thread okay so i hope that's clear okay we can have methods classes test and we have instances as well but i'm not covering that as a part of this video it's not very important unless you use it in your framework okay so I hope that makes sense uh, that you know it you have understood it thread count and parallel okay so if so for example I have three in that case three threads will be created for to divide cross test okay so if I make it classes that means three three threads will be created and they will be divided across classes so all the methods that we have in those classes okay we'll use one of the thread that is created okay i hope that's clear and uh, let's now check the same with some uh, selenium uh, script okay let me just keep it to one and let me make it to back it to methods and keep it i'm sorry let's keep two let's go with just two test okay so now within this let me just 
uh, you know, put some selenium commands here. I have it handy so that we save some time. Okay, now web driver. Let me just import this statement. I'll explain you this. And uh, what is this? Mm, something is wrong. Oh, okay. A minute. Point should be from Selenium. I guess we are going to import Chrome driver. Cool. So if you see here, same test. I have added some Selenium commands here. Okay, sysout. This is just the sysout statement. And I am setting the property. I'm setting the path of the web driver. And this statement will launch Chrome driver. And uh, this is just for my own machine. I have I have multiple machines, so you know, I'm focusing. I'm I'm launching the Chrome so that it comes and sit on this particular monitor that you are seeing right now. Okay, and then I'm just launching Google Chrome dot docs about. Okay, and similarly, uh, let me just let me just get rid of this third test. Let me add the same statement in test number two. And this time I'm not launching doc doc, I mean Google Docs, but instead I'll just launch Google. All right. So and uh, let's try to run this in parallel mode. So let's go to test ng. Let me go to let me close close this. Let me go to test ng. And if you see here, we are creating two threads and we are setting it on methods level. That means and that means each of the methods that we have in this class will be provided one thread okay so one thread will be given to this another thread will be given to this just we are creating only two threads since we have only two methods and i want both of them to launch simultaneously all right so let me just run this and uh, i hope i mean this is clear system path web driver new chrome this will launch the browser this will set my machine and my uh, monitor and this will be launch the the site that I want to go to. So let's run this and see if it launch, you know, runs in parallel mode. You see, we have two IDs, two threads created and put in, and the browser is launched. If you see, we have two uh, Chrome, one to the other. the execution was complete okay so if you see here google docs and behind it is the google okay so this was the first test and this is the second test if you see here let me open this first test which opened the google docs and the second is google so we saw that both of them were uh, opened simultaneously one uh, not uh, one after the other but simultaneously and if you see the log here i'll just read it uh, read it for you in just a minute you see here chrome driver was launched success started successfully and we have another instance here chrome driver was started successfully and they are using different threads we saw the threads as well right 13 and 14 so this one is on 13 i'm sorry this one is on 13 and this one is on 14 so two threads two methods two parallel execution all right so i hope i have covered everything uh, related to uh, parallel testing Okay, let me know if you have any question or doubt. I'll be more than happy to explain you in case it needs more detailed understanding. And if it is something which you want me to cover as a part of video, separate video, I'll do that as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is all. Uh, there is another one which is invocation count, but I want to cover that as a part of invocation count. We can use invocation count to achieve parallel testing as well. Okay, but I will cover that as a separate video, not within this video. Okay, so uh, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, till then, you have a good time ahead.